<laughs> What's going on, guys? What's going on? We got a lot to talk about today. We got a lot to talk about today. Halo Infinite. Halo is one of those games that just keeps on giving. You guys know what I'm talking about. For years, we have been in them streets heavy. And now, you know, Halo Infinite came out really strong start, but then the games as a service really started just crumbling below them, man. It was it was pretty bad. You know, it's like one of those one of those animes where they're running and just the road under them just collapses and they fall. And a lot of people didn't think, yo, this is it. You know, they're they're not coming back from this. But it does look like with some, you know, really strong infrastructure, you know, some some management replacement because they have been doing a lot in terms of management replacement and you know re redirecting what Halo Infinite's about and what their priorities are. It does look like they have, you know, in somewhat been able to fix some of the issues that Halo has been having. You know, I still believe that they got a little bit of an issue when it comes to monetization. You know, put in the comment section below if you guys disagree with me on that. I I don't think that some of the battle passes is worth the the time investment and the money that you get from. Now, are they all bad? No. Uh, some, some things in these battle passes are good, but I, I think when you compare them to other games in the industry that says as games as a service, I feel like the cosmetics for them just look to better to me. And yeah, I know people, people get mad when I say that people say, you know, you can't compare these games uh, in a way you guys are definitely right. You can't compare them but at the same time. These people as known as three, four, three, they are fighting these companies for gamers time. Cause people sit there and think it's just about money. No, it's about time. When you have a certain amount of games as a service on the market, you got to compete with all of these other games as a service. And when it comes to me, the cosmetics for Halo Infinite can improve. Now put in the comment section below if you guys disagree with me on that. I feel if you do, you know, it's it's okay to disagree with people. I know the internet has you guys thinking it's not okay, but best believe I know it's okay to disagree with people on the internet. So as you can see here, we have a Halo Infinite update. 2007 has arrived in 2023. Grab your game fuel and jump into these new and reimagined classic maps in the Halo 3 refueled playlist. You got, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. You got uh, a modern guardian. You got high ground. You got a modern construct. Modern narrows. That's one with the bridge going in the middle. You got modern blackout, which that's, that's that's an old old map you know that they've actually renamed that restructured that like five times people in the comment section tell me how many times they have remade blackout i think it was called lockout at one point like back in the halo two days i can't exactly remember but you guys know what i'm talking about they have restructured that game a variety of times and that's cool you know then we got the pit which we all know the yellow construction thing you know, I do think they brought that back already, but it does look like this is in the playlist. Then they got isolation and a brand new map called Critical Drew Point. Now, this is a really good thing because I feel like the vets of Halo have been begging for this for like the longest time. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, we love the gameplay for Halo. We just need more content. And I'm not sure. I'm not. So, you know, definitely I will put the, the, you know, the article that they have put on here. I'll put that in the comment section below and you, well, the description, you can go and you can read it yourself. I am under the impression because when you look at these actual maps, it says created by at the bottom left, I believe, you know? And so to me, if it's saying created by, I don't think 343 made them. I think these are community remakes of these older maps and i don't know if they're if the created by person is people at work at bungie that could be a possibility so then they would be so they would be a creation of bungie i mean 343 so it's just it's interesting you know they got that critical drew point uh that's for mountain dew you know they, they're doing really good things but to me it's like i said halo infinite is in a very 
very good place considering where it was a year and a half, two years ago. I think nothing but up, man. You know, they, they are giving us some of the most memorable points and memorable maps in gaming history, you know, in, in, in Halo history in general. You know, I, I would like some of the, the maps back from, you know, Halo 5, Halo 4. You know, there there's some really good maps out there that, you know, give us a give us a, a Halo 4 playlist, a Halo 3 playlist where we're still playing like Halo Infinite, but it's giving us the option to play with just the maps from the old days. And I think that would be really good. You know, put in the comment section below what you guys' favorite Halo map is. I know we got a lot of Halo heads in that follow me on YouTube. Uh, you know, I'm kind of curious what you guys are. I think Guardians, mine, man. You know, I remember so many memories playing Guardian that that just that that map has a special place in my heart and I love that map I love it and I love that they brought it back even if 343 themselves didn't make this they have been going above and beyond to be more you know open to trying out community stuff they have done stuff like make it to where you gain XP no matter what mode you're in you don't have to be in ranked or social you could play them in custom games now they do have like a little bit of a lock-in but what i've been told because i don't really play a whole lot of custom these days i've been told that it's really high like you can level up quite a bit you know what i like about this even though the cosmetics needs to improve in my opinion when it comes to halo infinite they have made it very accessible where you can play this game any way you want and you can level up your battle pass and i think that's the correct way to go because even if people are making maps to grind that battle pass they paid to get that battle pass why does it matter at that point you know obviously it's going to stop people from playing more because if they max that out really fast they won't have to or maybe they won't play for a good amount of time and then just use one of those maps towards the end of the season to just just to kill it but you know halo infinite's done a lot of good stuff in this world especially you know being able to switch between battle passes you know my brother huge halo head and he says he loves the fact that sometimes he's not filling halo and he knows he's not going to miss out that he can come back and he can buy these season passes in future times and he'll be able to play them and get these awesome rewards that some of the battle passes have to me the best battle pass is the infection one and the original Halo Reach Battle Pass, the very first one, because I felt like there was a lot of good vibes, a lot of ways to make your Spartan look extremely unique. Now, I'm not saying they don't have unique looking sets in these. They do. But I think, you know, compared to other games as a service, their cosmetics just made you look crazy. And, you know, they, I think they need to improve on that, like I said. But anyway, put in the comment section below what you guys feel about this. Do you guys think Halo Infinite's back or, you know, on the road to being back i think that's the better question do you think halo infinite's on the road to being back very curious to hear you guys's opinion and until next time this is gaming addict i'm out of here peace man i want to go play more halo Infinite. i played that 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 halo 3 playlist for like an hour and a half this morning and i think i'm gonna go play it now peace